ready when you are. All right, we're going. Uh, this is on low power, so it's as far, far back as I can get on this one. Uh, this is your duodenum. So the duodenum, you want to first notice how, how elaborate these extensions are right here. So all of your small intestine has villi. So those are villi. Those are the villi of the mucosa, of the inner layer of the duodenum. Duodenum being the first segment of your small intestine. Now, if you go a little bit deeper here, so I'm going away, the food floats around out here, no, right, there it goes. Then we're going a little bit deeper, th past the mucosa, into the submucosa. Now, one thing you'll notice about the duodenum, which you won't notice about the ileum or the jejunum, um, is that there is this really big sort of porous uh, layer here. And this is the submucosa layer, but it's made up of a lot of glandular tissue called, du most simply, duodenal glands. They may seem called Brunner's glands. Uh, these are small intestine glands. They're going to produce a lot of, they produce some hormones, they produce some enzymes, they produce, basically they're just contributing to the digestive process. Uh, then we move out to the muscularis layer. And again, you can see uh, a circular layer right there. The fibers are clearly running this direction. And these fibers out here are clearly running towards us again. So circular longitudinal uh, tunics, mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, adventitious not shown on this map. Good.